Reality slips far away. Fiction comes alive. We start the play. Hope is no more behind the closed door as we drift away from where What is a sobby guys? Today we're doing a Monokuma makeup tutorial. So if you want to look like this, mm, mm, stay tuned. Alright, well first off you want to start with the clean face. And I'm basically just using a basic eyeliner right now from Route 21, you know, whatever. I didn't want to take out one of my nice, fancy, smancy ones for this, because I'm literally going to wear it for 20 minutes and then just, like, go to bed. But you want to start by outlining the mouth of Monokuma. Um, as always, you want to have reference photos, because it'll help out a ton. Also, if you do mess up, like I messed up in a couple parts here, you can always just wipe it off, which is nice with like the crappy eyeliner, because it's not going to show up that well anyways. Next, you want to go in and start outlining your little fangs or your little teeth. I like to do bigger ones so it shows up better in photos. You can always do a couple smaller ones, but keep in mind you will be using face paint later and it might smudge once we start getting into the black. I also like to go as far out to my lips. Next we're going to start filling it in with the black so we can see where we have outlined our little things and teeth. Now we're going to take a small little angular brush and we are going to use the white. And of course, me, I can't do anything right ever. I could not open this. And then I realized, oh, it's backwards. I'm smart. Ha <laughs> Oh my god, I hate my life. <laughs> so we're going in with the white now. And yeah, basically just fill in all those parts that we did not shade in black. Alright, now we are going to use a different angular brush and now we are finally going to shade in the black parts so it's more noticeably black. I like to start off by kind of like outlining where my teeth are and then I'll go ahead and fill it in just so I can get like an idea of where I need to exactly fill in. And then here is a little glimpse. Wink! Now we are going to go in with lipstick. This one is actually by Kat, Kat Von D. There we go. Um, I got this at Sephora for a fortune and a limb, but I love it because it smelled good. And it actually sticks. But you can always go on it with the black face paint. Now I'm going to be doing my daily sort of, you know, facial routine because I have not the prettiest of skin, question mark. So I use cream foundation 
I just kind of dab it on everywhere and I use a little sponge brush to just go in little mini circles all over my face until I am satisfied with my disgusting skin. Look at it, doesn't it look so much better now? Oh yeah, and also when you're doing this, you want to be definitely careful of your face paint or else your face paint is going to go all over your face. Now we're just going to go ahead and do the eyes. Um, I start off with just kind of like a small, you know, eyeliner over the eye. And then, oh wait, no, if I'm not done yet, I'm like, oh no, I've got to get in the inner eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and start on the corner. And I like to pull a little bit and sort of form a triangle. And you'll see what I mean in a second. I make just a straight line and then I go to the bottom and kind of form a triangle. And you want to do this for both eyes. After that, it's time for the bottom lashes. I got my bottom lashes for really cheap actually, $3 on Amazon. If you guys do want links, let me know, because I do have a lot of products. Um, some of them I've had for a while. But if you do want products, just let me know and I shall list them for you or I will personally send them to you. Boom, boom. Before we start on our upper false lashes, we're going to go ahead and um, build shadows on our lids. I like to use uh, dark brown, but the brown that I originally liked to use, it's almost out, so I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just blend this since I have a lot of it. So right now I'm going in with a medium brown and dabbing it with a little bit of black. Ooh, hit it with the dab. As you can see, I kind of just slightly just rub it on right above my lid just to create a bit of a shadow. And as always, you want to do it for both. Now we're going to start with the eyebrows. I use an eyebrow powder and I use like a small angular brush and I just kind of go upwards to make a little angry, furious eyebrows for Monokuma. And yeah, just do it till you get it angry enough, or until you just give up and say, F it. Now it's time for the upper lashes. Or your finger lashes, whatever one. Next, I use a red, and I kind of just dab it under my uh, red sclera eye, just to give a little bit more of a pop and effect to it. And of course you don't have to do this. It's just an extra step that I take personally. And lastly, I squirt it off with some e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Mm, get it, Mono. Now we're all done with the makeup. Let that dry. And we are going to look at the camera weird and suit up. Mm, get ready for a day of class and despair. Also, I actually gender bent Monokuma, so I have like a long sort of weird wig, kind of like Uta's from Tokyo Ghouls. And just like that, we are done. Get your mallets, get your Monokuma plushies, and get ready for the best four years of your life. <laughs> Drop more than this elevator's dropping us. Oh shit. Navi. 